Good day from Port Hitas Riss. We are on our work travels again it's for my husband's work and I am in a beautiful garden in Port Hitas Riss. We are very lucky to be staying with our friends for the week and I can and I benefit from this beautiful garden. Today I would like to talk about uh, rejection which I recently had another lesson in and I think I'll start by saying that the opposite of rejection is acceptance or feeling welcome. My actual home is in wilderness on a beautiful farm, Loch Luri, and I will leave uh, the, a link for Loch Luri in the description of this video uh, because we do have uh, riverside accommodation available um, to rent. We're actually renting it out at the moment. Uh, for a longer term to speak to us in connection with this riverside accommodation beautiful ever since I can remember I have and this is since childhood especially childhood um, I've always wanted to feel welcome and accepted uh, acceptance was a big thing for me growing up as I was an unwanted child. Over the years I have discovered many others who feel the same way. That's because I went through it. You could see someone else if you've been through a challenge. My books and journals are available on my website. My journal doesn't have a year date so it can be used forever. It's got a little feather. All my books and journals have feathers in it. For as long as I can remember I have wanted a log home and this is our recent uh, building project on our farm Loch Luri. Although it is not completed, I feel very much at home there and um, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that I've got a forest as my backyard and this was manifested and if you want to learn how to manifest your dreams, talk to me. I believe that the seven years it took to write this little book um, contributed to my feelings of feeling at home. Although it is not completed, I feel very much at home there and um, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that I've got a forest as my backyard and this was manifested and if you want to learn how to manifest your dreams, talk to me. I found that feeling at home starts within. Also, talk to me if you need more on that. The main route for my feelings of rejection as a child and growing up uh, is my mom and uh, rest the soul she died before my 50th birthday as she lived with us and um, needed special care and nappies I was super blessed with gratitude for the Living Cornerstone which is an organization caring for um, Alzheimer and dementia patients these days there are so many that need the help of such organizations so in the description there will be a link to Living Cornerstone. This amazing organization was my biggest help and only help before my mom passed away. And I shall be forever grateful. felt very blessed and excited to be a speaker at Women's Day uh, in August uh, for the Living Cornerstone at their charity event. Finally, I would be able to express my heartfelt gratitude to them with a beautiful message of love. The more I read up on Alzheimer's and dementia, it felt more and more to me that rejection has a lot to do with this disorder. It took me around two weeks to process my sadness and disappointment when I was cancelled for this charity event. The reason they gave me was that someone phoned in and complained about my beliefs as portrayed on my social media. As rejection has been a huge part of my life journey, I have become quite skilled at processing and the lesson that finally arrived was quite profound. It felt like a test after all my many years of rejection. How would I handle it? 
Through the years, I have learned about affirmations from my mentor mama, Louise Hay, and over the years, I have welcomed it in my life journey as a daily practice. These affirmations are available in my gratitude journal on every page. That's why this makes a wonderful gift for someone that would love to change their life or to better their lives. I'll change but better their lives with more positivity. So the biggest lesson that I received from this cancellation as speaker and cancelled because of preconceived ideas. I don't even think the person who phoned in would know me. Um, but the biggest lesson I received and the most important is to embody my self-acceptance. I will never please all the people. Um, no one can please everyone. But if you can better yourself daily, it is important and safe for me to embody my self-acceptance. This test came to me as a reminder that I am 100% here to love and accept myself. And not only love and accept myself, but to appreciate me. If you know me, you know that I've always been on a self-help workshop my whole life. So, yes, a lesson of self-acceptance. I will never be able to be perfect for everyone. I am here to be just my best version for me. I love who I've become and I, and I absolutely love my beautiful life and I share it with everyone as much needed inspiration as I also know how it felt not to feel loved by yourself as well. Nowadays I am accepted and loved by so many friends and clients all over the world and I am always surrounded by loved ones. As I learn to love life, life is loving me right back. My website is aptly named superblessedandloved.org www.superblessedandloved.org I have a Facebook group, hashtag I'm superblessed, where I share my daily affirmations, my positive posts, and also those of my loved ones. Anything that can promote them or help them forward themselves, this is what I'm all about. I'm a soul grower, that's my occupation, a soul grower. Since 2015 I've written an article and I'll also put that in the description and you can see what I do. My invitation is now open for deeper discussion um, and all I can say is be super blessed always.